In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul. And this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 14, verses 14 through to 21. When Jesus went out, he saw a great multitude, and he was moved with compassion for them, and healed their sick. And when it was evening, his disciples came to him, saying, This is a deserted place, and the hour is already late. Send the multitudes away, that they may go into the villages and buy themselves food. But Jesus said to them, They do not need to go away. You give them something to eat. And they said to him, We have here only five loaves and two fish. He said, Bring them here to me. Then he commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass. And when he took the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up to heaven, he blessed and broke, gave the loaves to the disciples, and the disciples to the, gave to the multitude. And they all lay there and were filled. And they took up twelve baskets full of fragments that remained. Now those who had eaten were about 5,000 men, besides the women and the children. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to feed our souls. In the scripture reading today from St. Matthew, of course, we read about Jesus feeding the 5,000. Jesus has been with these people for a long time, preaching them to them, healing their sick. And because one of the disciples came to him and said, This is a deserted place, and the hour is already late. Send the, dis the multitudes away, that they might go into the villages and buy themselves food. But Jesus said, They do not need to go away. You give them something to eat. Of course, Jesus was talking about real food, not the word of God, which is also feeding our souls. But he wanted them to give them. But they said, we only have five loaves and two fish. Jesus knew what he was going to do. He said, bring them here to me. Then he commanded the multitude to sit down on this grass near them. And he took the five loaves and the two fish. Looking up to heaven, he blessed and broke and gave the loaves to the disciples. And the disciples gave to the multitude. They fed 5,000, not including the women and children, which of course all could almost double that number. Jesus fed the multitude with the word of God, spiritual food. And then when the time came, he fed them with real food. Yes, real food. The miracle of the loaves and the fishes once again. We have a compassionate God who loves us so much 
who will take care of us. Yes, Jesus could have told them to go to the near villages and get food there for themselves, but no, he wanted to feed them. Yes, he wanted to feed them. Not only spiritual food, but real food for their stomachs. He fed their spirits, now he wanted to feed their stomachs. Jesus today still wants to do the same. He wants to feed your spirits. Yes. The word of God will feed your spirit. He will also provide for you the food that you need. Maybe not necessarily the same way as he felt these, fed these multitudes with a miracle with the loaves and the fishes. But he will still feed you. Yes. Remember when you say the, the prayer, the Lord's Prayer? Give us today our daily bread. How many of you, when you say that prayer, think about it? Or is it just a lot of words? How strong is your faith? How strong is your faith? Do you believe that God provides for you? I urge you all to pray. Pray to the Holy Spirit that he will not only feed your souls, but feed your bodies too. When you pray, give God the glory for all the blessings you receive. Glory to God for all things. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most holy Theotokos, save us. Amen.